Hey, this is Paul with Metro Pool Service in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Here's a case where the pool light won't work, so the bulb is bad, right? Well, not necessarily. I tested this bulb for continuity, and when you get continuity through a bulb, that means the bulb is good. Tested it with this meter, and also I tested then for voltage into the light fixture itself, and I'm supposed to get 12 volts, so that tested 12 volts, just like it should. So the light should right. As the light should light, right? Not necessarily. It's Say that there's only one good strand of, of uh, continuity or passageway for the voltage to pass through the wires from this deck junction box into the light fixture. If there's not enough amps that can carry through that connection, then even though I'm getting 12 volts at the light and also I'm getting a, have a good bulb, it still won't light. If you see a deck junction box like this behind your light, this is always a suspicious place to find the problem. So I've opened this up and I don't know if you can see but down in there there's water and I think what I'm going to find is that the uh, wire nuts are rusted and that the connections just need to be redone and then I think the light will light. I have pulled the wires up for this light out of the deck junction box and sure enough these wire nuts are very rusted on I can't even get them off, so I'm going to cut them off and re-strip the wire insulation off and redo these connections. I cleaned up the connections and put new wire nuts on each of the spots, and now I can test the light. Just screw it in for a second, and it comes on. You can just do that briefly. It is a water-cooled light, so you don't want to screw it in and leave it on very long. But I tested it, and that was the problem. It was water getting into this junction box. So now we need to find a way to make this lid for the junction box more waterproof.